Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within, making some progress. Uh, we have some stuff on the go here. We can't use the Golub Chamber yet, because none of our soldiers are psychically uh, up to the task. Florence Nightingale's getting pretty close. She does have Psy Panic now. If she gets to that third level, I think she is able to use it. So obviously she's going to go on whatever mission we send her on. Um... Apart from that, we don't really have anything that's causing us too much trouble right now. We could upgrade these uh, squaddies, but I don't think it's totally necessary. Uh, and they're actually undergoing psionic testing right now, except for this one. We'd like we need another assault at this point. Android Cactus is basically immune to anything that the aliens and exiled forces throw at her. But in any case, um, we have some research on the go. We have some stuff that maybe... Uh, do we have a council mission? Am I, no, we, we can't have a council mission. It would show up here. I, th I usually only end these episodes when something happens, and then I want to wait until the next episode to handle it. Is this, um, we can fire self-guided rockets capable of navigating to the intended target without direct line of sight. Blaster launcher? I don't think I ever got one of these before. Is this a replacement rocket launcher for heavies? If so, that is dope. Blaster launcher. Blaster launcher. There we go. How much is it? 231. My god, is this for a ship or is this for... It, oh, I think it's for a ship. I'm trying to see. Well, it uses flight computers. But it's in here in the same kind of vicinity as like the, the weapons for people as well. Um, by integrating components of the advanced alien navigation systems, we can fire self-guided rockets capable of navigating to the intended target without direct line of sight. We need to build this. It has to happen. There's no question about it. What can I sell? I don't want to really sell a fusion core. That seems really useful. Um, well, I tell you what, we can sell some of these corpses. And we can obviously sell all of the exalt stuff. But if, even if we could just build one of these, that's pretty useful. We could apply that to. I don't know, obviously, I'd love to build two, but, you know, but our hands are tied a little bit. Um, oh, we probably don't want to sell that many. Um, I'm okay with going down to like five corpses for a lot of this stuff. We might be able to make two. It, it depends on whether or not we have, um... There we go. Depends on whether or not we have, uh... Like, enough resources for it in the first place. But anyway, let's build an item here. Uh, where is the blaster launcher? Okay, so it's 231 credits. It's expensive. I... It's just funds? Really, it's just funds. Well, if it's just funds, uh, we should be able to make it happen then. So we'll build one of those. That'll be done instantly. Well, do we even need to build two? Like, what does my squad look like? Fizzle beef, yes. Android cactus, yes. Big McLarge huge is not a necessity. Zhang is a necessity. He comes out on every mission with us. Uh, he is a colonel, so he's as high ranked. He doesn't have the medals, but whatever. Um, so yeah, it would be fizzle beef, cactus, these two, beeps, and our support. Oh no, she's a support. Ah, maybe we need two. I don't know. We'll figure it out at some point, though. For now, let us just go back and we'll uh, scan for some more activity. Side testing's done in a day. Jude Law. Oh, Jude Law's the other one he would fit in. Oh, we do have Zachary Thomas who is gifted. Uh, I'm probably not going to take him out on any missions. I wish there was a way to passively train psionic soldiers, but it doesn't really make any sense. I can't dispatch. Oh, they asked for eight heavy floaters. If only I hadn't sold them already. Um, satellites are done soon, but surely we'll have, yes, something going on. It looks like we have a, a covert mission where we can send... Uh, an operative into the United States to reduce panic, which would actually be really nice. Uh, sure, you know what? J. King, you're going out on this mission. Might as well update you a little bit. Uh, we need to lower panic in the United States so that we can... We only have two satellites on the go. We can get those satellites done in uh, Canada and Mexico and lower the panic there. So, EMP cannon's done. Research is done, man. Um, we might want to go to our foundry. Maybe there's some projects we can work on, but we're very much getting to the end of the, the, end of the game. Um, I don't need to do anything for, like, shivs. I don't even really need to do anything for drones, so I'm not going to get a scope upgrade. Lord knows I'm not going to use those earlier. I'm not going to use them now. Okay, we have a terror mission in Russia, Volgograd. We will send a Sky Ranger, and now we'll look at the way that this shakes out. So I guess we don't take Big McLarge Huge on any of our missions anymore. That's reasonably understandable. Um, let's replace his rocket launcher with a blaster launcher. It does base damage of 9 versus base damage of 6, the magic numbers. That is awesome. Also, Zhang, you've never looked better, man. Uh, cool, I would say we are good to go here. This is the squad that obviously I'm hoping to take with me uh, into the late game. Unfortunately, in order for that to happen, sorry, we just had uh, I think the lamp fell off the back of the desk. Because our cat knocked it off earlier, or wounded it earlier. 
In any case, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we, we might end up losing some squad members. Don't laugh at me. That was it, sh it shook the desk. I was very concerned. There's something funny about that. I'm trying to save the world from an alien invasion here. You're over there over laughing about it. Doesn't seem right to me. All right, so we're going to, you know, civilians, who cares? It would lower the panic in Russia, but I'm not really worried about uh, about anyone leaving the XCOM project at this point. If the satellites don't handle it, then we might lose, like, one person. But I really don't see it happening. Um, I don't know if running gun's worthwhile yet. It may be, but it also may not be. Uh, I'm interested to use this blaster launcher, though, especially since I didn't even know there was an upgraded rocket launcher. I don't know if this is new for uh, Enemy Within or what. Just going to pick up this civilian. Might as well get him out, just in case there are enemies around the corner. And you know what? We're going to split into uh, a number of different groups here. Two different groups. I don't like splitting into three, even though it makes sense because you could have, like, two people uh, on kind of each front. I don't, I don't think it's the best idea, though. Um... What I will do is put Jude Law, like, right here, and we'll probably toss in a battle scanner as far as we can throw it down the middle here. This will help us determine how we're going to, uh, or how best to, um, you know, d distribute our uh, forces. We see a bunch of Berserkers, but I really doubt that they are actually going to see us on this turn, so I'm not too concerned about that yet. Uh, what I will do is, uh, you know, Fizzlebeef, you're going to go here. Please don't aggro the Berserkers. There's no way we're saving these civilians, though. Like, if, if the Berserkers want to take them out, there's nothing we can do about that. And, you know, fuck the Overwatch. We're just going to move over here. That was ill-advised. We could have discovered the alien there. Or, I mean, we could have aggroed them. I don't think they've seen us yet, even though the music has changed. But we have enough Overwatches where I feel relatively safe uh, regardless. We'll see if they choose to do something here. We have heavy floaters. Do they have vision? I don't, th I don't think they have vision, honestly. The fact that they're running backwards makes me think they have vision, but I... Did not think that... What's going... Okay, there. Now we have vision for the first time, I think, with that, like, piano. Scott Joplin ragtime there. Come on, Fizzle Beef. Show her how it's done. You don't have a shot? I guess the dumpster or the, like, weird lockers are in your way. Okay, I don't know why the civilian is choosing to run into the burning building, but I've never been in a situation like that personally. Hashtag Fizzle Beef don't miss. Well, I could have told you that. Um, crisis averted there. 12 damage. That's pretty solid. Why do you not have another shot? That's the, the real question. What about you, uh, Grace? 27%. It's not even... The frustrating thing is that, like, it's not even worth... Uh, oh, there's some cover. We might actually be able to get a shot there. It's not even worth using collateral damage, because she would be way better served if I actually, um, you know, used her to, as, to, like, overwatch against the Berserkers or something like that. She could do a lot of damage. Um... Fizzlebeef actually does have a shot now. 53? We know Fizzlebeef don't miss. Excuse me? You'd think he missed. He just shot down a UFO that was in the distant future there. 30% um, chance to hit is obviously not very good. But we're going to pop open this door and see if we can't uh, make this happen a little bit more easily. 40%? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send uh, I'm gonna send Zhang in here first. And you know, the, the floaters are like cybernetic, right? So I might be able to use my psychic ability. 100% chance to hit. That'll at least hurt, and we'll level him up a little bit. Having two fully leveled psychic soldiers, probably a little bit better than having only one uh, fully leveled psychic soldier. Still a 40% chance to hit. I'm going to get behind this cover. F these heavy floaters have grenades, so I don't want to fuck about. If I can uh, get the kill, I would prefer to get the kill. So we could use uh, Psy Panic, force a target to panic, or Mind Fray again and do some extra damage. It's a 100% chance to hit. And I want to get her leveled up as much as possible. She's going to be the one to get in the Gollop chamber in all likelihood. So, um, good. We got that sorted out. And you know what? Now strikes me as a reasonably... I realize this is a lot to, to do just to kill one heavy floater. But uh, I'm going to toss in a, a needle grenade here. And that's going to do absolutely nothing because heavy floaters can fly, I guess, is the, the reasoning there. Now, beeps can shoot twice. But I think it's in my best interest to... Send her over here. Please don't aggro the, the uh, Berserker and the other Mutons. It's still only a 27% chance to hit. Okay. Well, beeps don't miss, thankfully. Uh, I really wish I did not throw that needle grenade, but apart from that, that turn could have gone worse. Are these, these guys see us now? We don't have any overwatches, so uh, this is actually kind of an ideal position for us. As long as these aliens kind of stay in, in one little tight bundle, it makes it very easy. And um, yeah, that was actually, for once, a pretty smart sprint from those guys. Uh, 
This Berserker is, is fucked. He has no chance. The only question is where whether we want to use... Yeah, we'll probably use Zhang, because he can shoot twice. And I was I was hoping to be able to use like the rocket launcher against him, for sure. Nine damage, pretty crazy. Florence Nightingale's obviously going to finish the job here. Uh, just don't miss. That's that's all I ask at this point. 97% chance hit is even better. That's without hyper-reactive pupils working because he, he hit on the first shot anyway. Uh, Florence Nightingale will get the job done here with the, the plasma rifle hit. 100%. No explosion. Seven damage, pretty good. Uh, and then we have the two Berserkers. Or sorry, the, the two Mutons behind that... Uh... Okay, good, she's safe. Uh, behind the uh, dumpster here, so... I think this actually might be the one time that it's in my best interest to, to blow the blow up the shit out of this dumpster um, with collateral damage. I'm sorry for the civilian... Excuse me? How does that work? I, I used... Uh, I used full auto, it did jack shit. Or sorry, uh, collateral damage, it did collateral jack shit. Um, well, I'm gonna overwatch because I imagine those mutons are probably gonna come over here. And I'm also gonna overwatch with Android Cactus, and I'm also gonna overwatch with our sniper, and maybe we can take out one muton when they poke their heads out here. That is a strong ass dumpster. All right, Colonel Jude Law. Looks good to me. Aim down the sights. That's yeah, basically correct. Um, Single shot was enough to get the kill there, so that didn't even prime the or uh, proc the other reaction shots. Not proc's not the right word, but you get what I mean. Uh, and as a result, that means that uh, those over those other Overwatches could have worked, but ended up not being necessary. Don't see anything over here. Like seriously, is this? I really just can't believe that we didn't uh, destroy that dumpster. There's another muton there. I know I can feel it in my bones. Um, we'll overwatch here. You know, do better safe than sorry, of course. On the move. This is a situation where we will reload with roll fizzle beef. Ready to and we, to be fair, I'm actually going to run and gun behind this dumpster. Um, we need to reload with beeps as well, but uh, other, apart from that, we should be okay. So why don't you reload? And uh, yeah, our sniper's still got decent amounts of ammo here, so we should be okay. Handling the mission kind of weirdly so far. It should have been much easier to take out uh, the Berserker. Uh, okay, so he's behind me. Would have been much easier to take out the Berserker and the, the two Mutons than this. But it, it kind of spawns from that heavy floater being more difficult to take out than I would have expected. Oh, there we go. So we got three heavy floaters. And there's the other Muton. So the Muton's going to be easy here. The, the heavy floaters are going to be tricky because... Oh, come on. Because you can't do damage to them in the air. Or because they're in the air, sorry, you can't do like area of effect damage to them. So, uh, against this Muton, we have a 30% chance to hit, but it would kill. And it, it's like a 30% followed by a 40%. So I think I'm going to take it. I, I say that because of the hyper reactive pupils, but we actually landed the first shot, which is amazing. So we'll, we'll take the other uh, opportunity here to reload. Uh, now, Florence Nightingale. This is what I figured was going to happen. Uh, but the reason I moved her into the aggro range deliberately is because we're still very early in the turn. Heavy floaters don't pose too much of a threat. And additionally, um, I, I could use her to throw a smoke grenade. I think I may use Psy Panic here, though. And we'll see how this works, at least. Should cause a panic. Did it, did it not work? <laughs> it had a 95% chance to work, or at least a chance to try to work. Appears to have not gotten the job done, though. 68% chance. It's not the magic number, but that don't matter to Fizzle Beef. Because Fizzle Beef don't miss. Um, now, we have Android Cactus, who can't really get into a great position here. Don't run through the fire. Just don't, don't do that. Uh, I thought she would be behind cover, but she's not. Which is very unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, and by moving Grace O'Connell over here and putting on Overwatch, we'll have like a very, very easy time of things. And what I will probably do next is just move Jude Law. Oh, it's a dash. That's bullshit, basically. I'm going to move Jude Law over here and then have her... Uh, I'm going to have her reload, actually, because I really do not think Reloaded. that uh, we're going to need more than the Overwatches that I've already kind of mustered here. But if we do, then we'll have to catch up on things. That was... Hey, come on, Grace. Ah, uh, you know, I know you hate TVs, but still. Uh, I, I would have thought that your hatred for aliens would be a little bit worse. That guy... Basically, directly died as a result of your actions. So, you know, I don't necessarily... I'm not saying this just to make you feel guilty, but maybe if that guilt motivates you, then that's a good thing, because as of right now, it's clear that your way. performance is not up to snuff, is it? 
So, we have a heavy floater. Surprise, surprise. 68% chance to hit. That's gonna miss. You can tell just by the tracer right off the bat. Fizzlebee, if you're in danger of losing the, the specialized hashtag that I created uh, in honor of your th life, um, this, this can't be the last enemy that we're gonna encounter. Two times 78. First one was a crit, so rapid fire comes back to us. That's really good news. And uh, we've lost three civilians. But mostly, typically my, my focus in these missions is um, just finishing the, the mission as quickly and obviously as safely as possible. So that I can... Um, do I really just want to put you up in the sky? Like maybe up on the roof might be for the best? Sure, okay, come up in the sky, sniper. You see anything? Nope. We can get you over to that civilian eventually. Maybe I'll put you up here for now. I didn't realize you had so much room to maneuver. So that did cost us a decent amount of fuel there. No big deal. Should probably. Oh, there we go. That's what I was worried about. This is like our last turn here. Uh, we'll only have one shot. Berserker runs towards us. We might get a reaction shot on the Berserker. That civilian is fucked as heck. Um, oh, we have, uh, we have Florence Nightingale left. So Nightingale's going to come out here. She could actually use uh, her psychic ability. 40%. It's just not good enough. Uh, I don't think the smoke makes sense either because the Berserker's melee. Okay, so we did manage to land a shot there. What is... Well, he's going to get away from the civilian, which, again, I, I thought that would give a decent chance for the reaction shot to fire, but no such luck. Really? Uh, yeah, I guess there are walls in the way. Well, um, you know, I think we might as well do damage because I really don't think... I will try to do damage, at least. I was hoping for the crit, obviously, but I really don't think there's any way to protect uh, him beyond that, because the, the only places we can move him to were not that far away. So I think Jang's going to get hit here. He might be intimidated, but he should be alive. Unless this next Muton shot comes in here and actually manages to hit him. No, it looks like they chose to nuke a civilian instead, which is very good for me. Otherwise, I uh, easily could have found myself in a very, very trying spot there. 89% chance for the kill. Good news. Okay. Now, um... Uh, Zhang, I'm gonna need you to come in here, because... Oh, don't run this way. Oh, don't run that way. Um, because what I'm gonna do then is, uh, use O'Connell. Give you a little bit of this... Oh, that's Kinetic Strike. Probably don't want to punch Zhang in the face. Um, this will at least heal him up a little bit. Six. We'll see. Six. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, okay, Jude Law. Put you on Overwatch. Is it still costing you fuel to do this? Also, how did you not have a shot at that Berserker? Oh, because you weren't. You you had used a dash. Okay, that's fair enough. You know, um, we can not really do as much as I wanted to do here. Uh, I'm gonna send our mech all the way out here, and this is a real risk from an aggro standpoint. We we see the Muton, which is basically all that I wanted. And where where is he? Where is he? We don't have vision on it. I think it's behind the washing machine. Uh, so, if I run and gun, it's probably a little risky, but we do have some overwatches uh, that are open, I think. We, and we have vision, and I could rapid fire. Oh, two times 14. We're just going to overwatch here. I would rather have an overwatch and maybe get a good reaction shot as opposed to a 129 or 2 times 14. He's going to run out here. Now we'll get some vision. Overwatch does carry a, a, a reaction shots in general carry a, an aim penalty as well. So this might not have been the best. I really thought we had more Overwatch than this. Oh, uh, Jude Law? Yeah. Huge uh, height bonus here. He's a moving target, sort of. Oh, what a shot. Archangel armor. Well done. Quite the hallway of death we've got going on here, but... So far, we managed to persevere. Way. Nobody's been hit except uh, Jang got punched in the face once. I guess that actually is like a pretty major concern. Okay, uh, now I think we move in a little bit. And hopefully uh, we manage to find some aliens. But if not, well, you know, on this turn we're probably A-OK -okay to just uh, reload a little bit. Anybody who does not need the uh, reload will be put on Overwatch though for sure. And the real question is, it's been like a real alley of destruction here in Doom. Uh, I think what's in... Are you losing fuel? Like, is there any way for me to tell? 
Or do you just, do you stay with as much fuel as you have if you don't, if you just hover? If you move, you probably lose a fuel. Okay, if you, yeah, that's exactly how it works. Um, we're going to move forward even a, a little bit more. We still do not see anybody. It might have been better for me to throw a battle scanner there. It's okay, though. Uh, and I'm going to move Zhang up here. We got to start making progress. I probably should heal Zhang again because uh, one more punch could, could spell disaster for him. Will we free these civilians if we go in this spot? Might free one of them. Oh, two of them. Good. Okay, I didn't even see the other guy. Uh, you're gonna reload. So far, so good. Good mission so far. There's a, a heavy floater over here. It's not inconceivable for this heavy floater to be the final uh, enemy on this mission. So, you know, if we just nailed him with that shot, which of course we're not gonna do, uh, we would have been totally fine. We'll see though. Oh, we don't have any other vision. And the civilian has chosen to wisely to do nothing. Um, here's what I'm thinking. We come over here with our mech, and we might free that civilian. No, okay. Uh, the electro pulse isn't gonna do anything. Full auto would. I think it's actually smarter to just like dump this grenade in here. This will blow up all of the cover on this heavy floater. It'll do a little damage, and uh, everyone should have a flank on him now, which will basically ruin his chances of success. I think this sh this might do it. This might be the end of the mission. If so, not much of a terror mission. Uh, no, it's oh, it is the end. Okay, yeah, not much of a terror mission at all. We saved 14 civilians. Killed a lot of aliens. Uh, the big problem is that Zhang is going to be wounded, but we can always give his rocket launcher to somebody else. We didn't even use it on uh, on that mission anyway. We also got some meld for that. Panic has decreased across Europe. Europe's already looking golden. In fact, North America is the only place that's effed up here. Uh, covert operation in six days, satellites in four. Ah, uh, alien reductions the day after? Oh, well. Well, obviously we have to go to Seattle or Tijuana. Neither one really matters to me at this point. I like Seattle. It's got the PAX connection. But we are going to end this episode here. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And, of course, if you did, make sure to click the like button. I apologize for it being a little bit of a shorter one, but we'll get back with some uh, XCOM tomorrow, as always. Uh, and, again, subscribe if you want to see more Daily Enemy Within, especially as we come closer to the conclusion. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time.